I'm Simon Grunewald here with today's fan duel. Hurry up. It's week two and we are talking waiver wire ads. Let's start with Jeff Wilson running back for the San Francisco 49ers. Elijah Mitchell went down with a knee injury during Sunday's game against the Chicago Bears in the rain. Last season, Jeff Wilson played four games without Elijah Mitchell. And in two of those four games, he scored over 14 PPR fantasy points. Now, his ceiling is capped with Debo Samuel likely taking a bigger role in this backfield, along with some of the goal line work and the rushing ability of Trey Lance. But if Jeff Wilson is the lead back in a Shanahan offense, then he's likely to produce RB2 numbers, especially in a good matchup against the Seahawks in week two. The next player is Tyler Boyd, wide receiver for the Cincinnati Bengals. T. Higgins left this game with a concussion. Uh, we're uncertain on if he's going to be back, so we need to monitor whether T. Higgins will be back in this lineup. With T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd still has flex appeal, especially in matchup against teams that are weak against the slot. But with T. Higgins out, you can expect an increase in usage for him. During this game, he turned seven targets into four receptions for 33 yards and a touchdown. But last season, in two games without T. Higgins, Boyd saw games of six and 11 targets. He's one of the best slot wide receivers in the NFL, and he's going to see an increased role in this offense if Higgins misses any time. The last player is Curtis Samuel, wide receiver for the Washington Commanders. Terry McLaurin is the clear one in this offense. He's the alpha dog at wide receiver, but that wide receiver two role was a little bit open coming into the season. Was it going to be Curtis Samuel? Was it going to be Jahan Dotson? Or are we going to see Logan Thomas, the tight end, as the second target on this team? Now it is early. But Samuel saw 11 targets yesterday, turn it into eight receptions for 55 yards and a score. He also had four rushing attempts in this game. So it looks like the commanders are recognizing the versatility that Samuel brings to this offense. And I'm expecting him to stay involved in multiple aspects of this game. Expect to see him take more carries out of the backfield and to be heavily involved as a receiver. This last game was against the Jacksonville Jaguars, but Wentz and his receivers looked fantastic. If Samuel establishes himself as the wide receiver two on this team, he is 100% worth that waiver wire pickup.